For the second straight year, the Hopkinton Police Department took part in National Night Out. The night is intended to bring local communities closer with their local police departments. Attendees of National Night Out got a tour of the local police cruisers, as well as enjoyed food and games and got a closer glimpse of the hard work involved to protect and serve the community. Yeah, second annual, great success, had a great crowd here. A little nervous about the storm at first, but uh, you know, it cleared up and we actually saw a rainbow out in the sky, so it was very nice. But uh, obviously we're bringing the community together in the essence of crime prevention. And uh, we brought a lot of, of our partners, the DA's office, obviously we have the uh, K-9 from Holliston, and uh, a lot of good information uh, at hand at different booths so people can, uh, you know, just be prepared for crime, but at the same time, have a good time and enjoy themselves. And I think we've done that tonight. And it's certainly a good way to uh, network with the uh, community's police department and learn a few things about what they do as well. Yeah, and it's good, you know, uh, our office is always out in the community, but it's good for uh, everybody to get together like this and get a better understanding of what we do, who we are, and... Uh, just build up that relationship between the community and the police. Uh, throughout the country this is going on and that's why a lot of times uh, you gotta stop planning early if you want to get resources like a canine or uh, we're supposed to get the Mass State Police helicopter tonight but I think it was grounded because of the uh, the weather but uh, you gotta get early on the list for that because every everybody in town is asking for the helicopter. <laughs> but yeah it's a national national thing. I did it before for many years in Woonsocket and I was glad to bring it the idea here to Hopkinton, and uh, the community has really responded well to it. All right, terrific. Now on a side note, I know it didn't rain much here today, but a few tornado warnings around the area, and we did get a uh, glimpse of, of the rain uh, and, and some hail. Was there any calls about the hail or anything like that? Well, we had, uh, you know, several alerts nowadays with the cell phones and all our weather apps that we have at the police department, which a lot of people do. Yeah, we saw the tornado warnings and the hail, and we did get a little hail, but like I said, we just kept our fingers crossed and because uh, the burgers are already thawing out. <laughs> and there's my main man right there, Steve Buckley. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? Okay, good. All right, See, so we couldn't do it without this guy. Yeah, Chief Lee, <laughs> great time with the department. He's been with us over a year now. Things are going great. Um, without his support, let's support all the townspeople there for our second annual National Night Out. It's been a huge success again. We're just building a partnership with the community. Um, we just want to say to the people out there, um, you know, it's a great partnership. If you see something out there, say something in the neighborhood. So, you know, when you got, if it's, if you don't feel it's right, give us a call. Um, us working together is, like I said, the partnership. Uh, we're looking to move forward and bring some great programs to the town. Keep everybody safe. Thank you. Right. Well, good job. All right. A lot of hard work by uh, Steve. So Thanks, we certainly Chief. appreciate it. Sergeant Scott Van Ralton of the Hopkinton Police Department showed off some gear used by the regional SWAT team. We don't want to put it on. I just want to see, like... Oh, so it's just a clear. You don't have anything like it looked like. No, this is and then this is just a screw on. For your oxygen? Yeah, so we breathe. This is what basically filters out everything that we breathe in. And how long does this last? Um I mean if we go through tear gas, I probably would replace it. So just like one usage? Yeah. And, and is this like you can talk and they can hear you? So this this makes you sound like Dark Vader. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then we can also um, you can plug in our radio system All right. so that we can talk with it to on. To each other? Yeah. But not like you can hear out, just like you can hear each other? Right. So that, that's what these are. I mean, they look like earmuffs, but they're at, and they're all hooked into the radio system. And then um, we can talk Do you have to, to like other. hit anything or is it just like on? No, we have like a, a push to talk mm. button that is connected to the vest. Great. So that... Um, this would be a good workout thing. You just can't if you're if you're running. Yeah. You can't get the oxygen you want because mm. it's going through a filter. Yeah. So okay. So. Um, so even though you're, you're like trying to get. If a we're bigger standing breath. here talking, you're fine. Yeah. But if you run after something, like you just want to rip it off because yeah. it's it's you're not getting as much air as you want. That's sweet. One of the favorite parts of the night was the canine demonstration by Officer Matt Stone of the Holliston Police Department and his canine companion Cash.